Over in Parliament, lawmakers tonight approved dozens of bills that deeply affect people's lives. Key items on the agenda were measures to prevent further deepfake sex crimes and to help working parents take care of their children. Our National Assembly correspondent Yi Xiu reports. Sexual crimes involving deepfake content, often targeting young students and minors, have torn across South Korea in recent months. With rising cases of exploitation where perpetrators create fake sexual content using a victim's pictures, lawmakers on Thursday hammered out new pieces of legislation that will hopefully put a stop to the crisis and help the victims. This outlines the responsibility of national and regional authorities to assist in the deletion of illegal content and personal information and help the victims recover from damage. The proposals also lay out a prison sentence of up to three years and around a 30 million Korean won fine, around 23,000 U.S. dollars. They further impose additional penalties for those who use deepfake content to make threats to minors. There were 204 approvals from 205 present representatives, while one abstained. And as part of efforts to overcome the low birth rate issue amid an aging society, the Assembly voted to extend the period of childcare leave. This extends the post-birth paternity leave from the current 10 days to 20, and childcare leave for each parent from the current one year to a year and six months. The Improved Equal Employment Opportunities and Work Families Balance Act also grants more work leave for expectant parents trying to conceive with medical help. Despite the rare move of cooperation, however, there were tensions as rival parties disputed over several opposition-led bills put up for a revote after the president had vetoed them. We'll likely see similar progress in the coming plenary sessions as a set of contentious bills pushed by the opposition just last week are also expected to be rejected and returned to the parliament. Yi Shi-hu, Arirang News.